Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today we're playing Dark Age Camelot on Sentimenes, which means Hundred Handed One in Greek, and he is my friar. Level 28 at the moment, but about to hit level 29. His spec is at the moment 28 staff, then enhancement 5 parry, and I believe 6 rejuvenation. I don't know what the enhancement is specifically right offhand. But he is um, able to solo pretty well down here. And all these mobs are purple or red that I fight. Maybe some orange here and there. But mostly I'm fighting the upper end uh, mobs that I fight. Now, whenever I was talking about purple plus yesterday, I kind of had it miss... Um, I, I, I said it wrong. Orange is plus one. Red is plus two. Purple is plus three and higher. So there are pluses on other con uh, color con mobs, but uh, for purple that I'm fighting, they're purple plus three, which means just at that limit. And I'm doing pretty good. Uh, the reason that you don't see me sitting for very long or anything like that is because I wanted to give you as much action as I could in this video in the shortest amount of time just because of the fact that there is a little bit of downtime because you are always killing power to be able to gain uh, endurance while where at the same time you need power to be able to heal yourself so you're always having to sit a little bit but it was fine i was not bothered the whole time i was here i was able to maintain control uh, even in this situation after I killed a purple and now I'm killing a blue I still had enough um, health left that I was able to take the fight and, and win whenever I uh, got out of this view I was at probably 25% health just because of the fact of the combination um, but was still able to do really well I am really loving this class I really loved it back on live and am so happy to be playing it again to be honest this class I would say for me is better than playing a necromancer because you're always doing something in the in the aspect of that you're able to take on mobs melee and you're not having to cast over and over and over you're pretty much using five to six abilities at a time um, and some of your abilities for a friar are based on if you parry if you parry then uh, or evade then you can use a certain spell or certain ability and then using that ability allows you to get uh, your stun and then someone Later on in the game, you get abilities that a staff attack that gives you health back, which is um, really nice. <laughs> uh, you have your stuns, and it just makes for an all-around great class. The next class that I'll probably end up trying is a paladin, but not until this character is level 50. The, the whole point or purpose for me right now is to get him to level 50, get him legendary tailoring which will take a while because I'll have to go to Avalon City and farm plat um, maybe find some places in Forest Savage to farm as well but until he is legendary um, tailoring I'm not really going to do anything else and then after that I'll level my necromancer because of the fact that I want to get him legendary spellcrafting so that he can actually spellcraft the gear that I'm making and then start selling it. Start selling my uh, template is what they call it. So that's something that I'll be doing soon. Uh, but getting legendary takes forever. It, it's a lot of buying the supplies, making items to level up, selling all the items that you made, buying more stuff, and so on. And anyway, that's um, something that I'm going to plan to do next. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. I wanted to make sure that you had as much bang for the buck, as it were. If you liked it, please hit that like button. If you have any questions, comments about classes or anything else, leave that below. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll be happy. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you again for watching. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.